When it comes to wealth deities, there, there's literally dozens and dozens of them. Uh, dozens of individual um, deities that can be identified, like Jambala, uh, Vasudhara, Vaishravana, uh, different forms of Mahakala that serve as uh, wealth deities. Uh, and then there's many, many uh, different forms of Vaishravana and Jambala and others. So probably if you're, if you're counting everything, all the different forms, we're really looking at over, over 50 or 60 different types of wealth deities. But the question has been asked, um, who are the Yuguchesum? Who are the three Pishasi sisters? Well, there, there's very little art for, for this subject. We have a few uh, initiation cards. We have, uh, actually there's a painting in the Rubin Museum of Art. And then you occasionally will find the three Pishasi sisters as secondary figures in larger um, painted compositions. So who are they? Well, Pishasis are a type of uh, spirit coming out of Indian uh, 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 culture. And uh, the, these three are called the, the three sisters, and you could chase them. Um, and they're actually peaceful in appearance, one face, two arms. Uh, generally, they're blue, green, and red in color, but they can also be blue, uh, white, and red. Um, we have two different traditions uh, for them, and that's why we have a slight variation in color. Now, they're, they're peaceful, one face, two arms. Um, in one hand they hold a jewel, in the second hand they hold a vase. Now, sometimes it's the right hand, sometimes it's the left hand. Depends on the tradition. Um, we really find two sources for these. Uh, one is um, Bari Lotsawa. Um, and he received it, uh, the practice in India and brought it back to Tibet, and then it continued down through the Sakya tradition primarily. Then we have uh, an Atisha tradition, and the Atisha tradition is what we often see today because it was maintained by the Jonang tradition. It's possible that it can be found in the Kagyu tradition or the Karma Kagyu because uh, the first Karmapa Dusum Kempa is also in the Atisha lineage that went down into Jonang. Um, and the Jonang, of course, also maintained the Bari Lotsawa tradition. Now, there's a third tradition that came about, and that's uh, uh, in the Nyingma, Nyingma Revealed Treasure. But the Nyingma Revealed Treasure appears to be just based on the Atisha and the uh, Bari Lotsawa. And even the Jonang tradition uh, appears to be based primarily, in terms of um, explanation, uh, appears to be based on the Bari Lotsawa tradition. So here we have, have it, we have these three um, um, peaceful, beautiful goddesses, actually Pishasis, um, and they're, they're in a standing posture. Uh, the colors can change um, slightly, and it's very rare to find them in art. So I'm, I'm just really talking about this subject because uh, the, the question has been asked uh, several times. Um, so we'll leave it at that. You can uh, press the like button. You can subscribe. You can also join Har on Patreon.